What's up? Welcome to the first episode of Smashy Reviews. I am Smashy, and I am here to talk about the Midnight Man. Now, I must say, this movie was alright for an adaption to the game called, uh, the Midnight Game. Now, if you don't know what the Midnight Game is or who the Midnight Man is, I'll pop links down in the description so you guys can check that out. Um, oh, and a spoiler warning to anybody who has not seen it and is planning to watch it, there will be spoilers in this video, so, yeah. The movie came out in January, on January 19th, 2018, and was directed by Travis Serini, can't pronounce that last name. Uh, it stars Lynn Shay, Gabrielle Huff, and Robert England. It's about a teenage girl, Alex, who is taking care of her grandmother, and she invites a close friend of hers over, Miles, and they find the box that the game is in, and guess what? Yeah, they open it, and decide to play the game, resulting in Alex and Miles walking around the house trying to avoid the Midnight Man. Now, there's actually more to the plot. Um, the grandmother, when she was younger, she and uh, her friend and her, bro and her brother played, were in the middle of the game, and that did not go so well. Um, after watching this movie, in my opinion, it isn't bad, but it isn't the best. I mean, the plot was interesting, the special effects were good, especially for The Midnight Man. The acting wasn't that good, but I honestly think they they, they could have done better, but it was still pretty decent. Lin Shay was absolutely awesome in this movie. She really went for it with the like fake vomiting noises and the yelling and just everything she did in this movie was absolutely awesome. Gabri Gabrielle, though, had the edgy, angsty teen attitude. I do not like that kind of attitude. Plot-wise, it was good up until the moment, the one moment, if anybody has seen this um, movie, when Kelly was in the- their friend Kelly who came in later and started playing the game as well. She came in, she was in the little garden area without a candle, standing in the salt circle. Alex and Miles went to find her another candle, pretty much a life or death situation. So while Kelly was standing there alone and scared and basically in danger, what are Miles and Alex doing? Uh-huh, typical teenage romance bullshit, that's what. So while their friend was going to die, they are over here talking about feelings. My initial thought on that scene was, you bitches are supposed to be looking for a candle, not playing smushy face. Not that it mattered anyway, Kelly ended up dead. So, um, oof, oof. I hate movies that try to have, a horror movie like that, that tries to have a small amount of romance in it. Like, not everything has to be a romantic situation. Honestly, that was just too, it was just, it felt like it was just added in there just for the fuck of it. Alright, enough of that. As the movie goes on, we find out that Alex's mom committed suicide, but it wasn't a suicide. No. The man, Midnight Man, told her to do it because her mother, Alex's grandma, was feeding him and had her own daughter play it. What? I mean, that right there was just... I did not... Honestly, you wouldn't even suspect it, but then towards... But then right when the scene where she blew out Alex's candle, that's when you knew that she was probably long gone and working for him, basically. Uh, that's a real what-the-fuck moment. Oh, lord, the rambling is real. Okay. The gore, well, blood, was pretty decent as well. I'm a sucker. A really big sucker for gore and blood and guts and all that. And the scene where the man was using Miles and Alex's fears against them, pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Um, like, he dug down deep for those fears that they didn't even know existed. And he threw Alex into a bathtub of blood after Granny blew out her candle. Back to Granny, huh? And he squeezed Miles' head until his eyeball almost popped out. God, I mean that right there. Oh lord, that was beautiful. Beautiful. But the one scene that really buttered my croissant was Miles' death scene. Midnight Man punched his head straight through, like fist, straight through his freaking head. Beautiful scene. The amount of gore in a horror movie actually matters to me. And I think it matters to some horror fans, most horror fans as well. 
Um, another thing that matters to me is the score, and the score is fucking great. The one scene where the score was just absolutely fantastic was the blood tub scene. When Alex crawled out of the tub and this boom of music comes through your speakers and it goes through your house, or your ears depends on what you're watching, where you're watching. Oh, a score like that always gives me the best kind of chills and it makes the scene better than it already is. If you don't, if you can't remember that scene, I will pop a link down to that in the description below. Um, one more thing I'm going to talk about is the Midnight Man himself. Everything he did, how he's portrayed, he was just hilarious in the movie. Uh, I don't know if it was on purpose, but he had some funny and savage moments. He's like me, we both don't like to lose. He bent the rules, <laughs> he switched his face, and his face, I mean, just, just look at him. Look at him. The, the way they made him look is just awesome. Like, it, I, bravo. Um, I did, I forgot to look up who he's played by, but I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the screen. I'll put all that down below. Um, this movie, I, I don't highly recommend, but I still recommend it for those who like a good story and those who, well, pretty much like these types of horror movies. So, yeah, that's, that's all I have on The Midnight Man. Thank you for watching, and thank you for being patient. If you have made it this far, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of the movie. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on our social media, I'll put that below. Smashy out. Thank <laughs> you.